Jim Vores we're talking to. Now, tell me about you and about the car and why you're in the Silver Fern. Uh, it was one of those sort of bucket shop jobs. Uh, Carl has always talked to me about the Silver Fern, said how wonderful it was and everything like this, and I've been totally sucked in by his, you know, his stories and everything like this. And uh, So eventually, after having tried a couple of years ago to enter and sort of running out of time, uh, we put it together. Andy and I decided to do it, and uh, as those plans go along, we actually ended up with the car on the road a week before the event. <laughs> well, that's handy. Yeah, it makes it really easy. It was sort of that low volume certification stuff added three months and another $2,000 to our budget. Um, so we thought this was quite a nice shakedown event. Okay, so why the Silver Fern then? Um, well, I've done a lot of rallies and did an international one year and a few things like that. Um, and. Uh, the, the aspect of doing it in a historical car, which fits the old imagery, you know, the rear-wheel drive. Uh, I've done the Evo and all that sort of thing, but just to do it in a rear-wheel drive car to the style of event, uh, eight days, is just... And particularly the roads around the South Island, that's what we really wanted to do. You know, when you do Danzy's Pass, I've done it once before, to do Danzy's Pass full speed, flat out, it's just the sort of thing you look forward to, that Hokanui stage. Uh, I don't know if you've ever driven through it, but yep. to sit there doing 200k, you know, and then just going dong dong dong, it's 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 a buzz, and you just got to do it for that.